Hey everyone, welcome back to Weekend Cartoon Reviews. Yeah, I know, it's been a while since I did one of these. And I did bring, um, what was it, the old cartoon review series again? I forget what I called it, I'll go back. Probably throwback reviews, I think it was. But anyway, I'm so sorry for not making one of these for quite a bit, actually. It's because of last weekend, I was gonna make a review, but I got really, really sick. I got sick as a dog. And so, I decided it wasn't a great idea for me to make a review with those conditions. I'm not going to go into detail as to what, but also Splatoon 3 came out that weekend, and I was kind of busy with that, but not really. I was still going to try to get out a review, but enough with the explanation. We're going to review Pinocchio 2022, because no cartoon reviewer has reviewed that yet, am I right? <laughs> no, okay, who hasn't talked about this movie yet? I mean, me. Obviously, but I mean, I'm not one of the big leagues. But I mean, tell me, who hasn't talked about this movie yet? And told me, name one person who said that this movie was good. Because this movie absolutely was not good at all. I mean, there were some things I liked. Like, I mean, I liked the Coachman song, if there's anything I liked. And I liked the way Pleasure Island looked. I was disappointed that they downplayed Pleasure Island quite a bit. But I know with this world now, you can't really show alcohol and cigarettes like that but I mean yeah just I mean unlike what most people said about Pinocchio's design I actually liked it I thought it looked decent enough it wasn't perfect by any means but it looked fine but what I didn't like however was Jiminy Cricket's design that design was just no yeah it, it just didn't look right and I mean the story itself I mean, it's kind of the same story, but I mean, it just dragged out to me, and, um, yeah. There were just some scenes where, like, Pinocchio uses his lying to get out of situations. Well, I mean, there was only one scene with that, but still. Like, the blue fairy barely comes into the movie, and, like, of course, they downplayed Pleasure Island, which, I mean, I guess they had to do it, but I didn't like it. I mean... What I expect from these Disney live-action remakes, I don't expect a shot-for-shot shot remake, no. But I don't expect them to change the story completely. Well, I mean, they didn't change it completely. Like, I mean, I don't like a shot-for-shot shot remake, but I don't like them changing the story too much either. A perfect example of a good Disney live-action remake to me is The Jungle Book. Because, I mean, it wasn't a shot-for-shot shot remake, but they changed things in it, and it worked. There's just some you can do it and some you can't. I mean, I'm very biased about this opinion, though, but I personally liked the Dumbo live-action movie. I know people don't like that one. I know critics especially don't like it, but I don't know what the general opinion is on that one. I feel like Dumbo's one of the more forgettable ones that happened. But I personally enjoyed Dumbo for some reason. That's, like, my favorite live-action Disney remake, but I know that's not, like... That's not objectively the best one. So yeah, I mean, I also like the Beauty and the Beast one, which wasn't really a shot-for-shot shot remake, but there were things they changed in there that were fine. Like I said, no, I don't like shot-for-shot shot remakes that turn into live action. But anyway, more on the story with Pinocchio. I mean, it just wasn't very great. I mean, what more is to say? The songs were fine, at least. And I mean, there was a scene where Pinocchio smelled shit, I think that was. I thought, oh my god, Disney. No. So, yeah. I mean, it was whatever. It's just not very good. It's a movie. But, like, I, the only people I can really see enjoying this is maybe families, but I hope they go back and watch the original Pinocchio instead. But, like, this movie was boring. I couldn't, like, laugh at how bad this was, but, I mean, there were some elements I liked to the movie, but it doesn't necessarily make it a good movie. I mean, they put a bunch of Disney and Pixar clocks up in the background, and I just thought, okay, okay. And then Tom Hanks even wasn't very good as Geppetto, which I was surprised by because Tom Hanks was good. He, it just looked like he just wanted his paycheck and left. Luke Evans did good, though. I'll give him that as the coachman. So, yeah... Overall, there's nothing more to say to me. Like, what more is there to be said about this movie than what hasn't already been said? I'd recommend you go and watch other reviews after this about Pinocchio because my opinion is just going to pretty much be the same as what everyone else's opinion is. 
and I don't want to just repeat what's already been said. It's not a good movie, bottom line, and that's really it. Bye, everyone.